So only 10% of the people who enter college as pre-med actually get into medical school. And I think one of the biggest reasons so many pre-meds drop out is because they choose the wrong college for them. So how do you do it? Well, let's find out. So my name is Rob Humbracht, and over the last 12 years, uh, Passport Admissions has worked with over 500 students. And a really common story we see is someone who is a rock star in high school and gets to college and gets bad grades. So there's a particular student that most stands out. She was valedictorian of her high school. She had a 2310 on her SAT and gets to Berkeley and gets a C in Organic Chemistry Part 1 and a D in Organic Chemistry Part 2. And just like that, her dreams of being a doctor pretty much up in smoke. Not necessarily because you can't recover from that GPA-wise, but she was so shaken that she decided she no longer wanted to be a doctor. And so I don't want you to be like her. So let's choose a college for you that would make you successful from day one. How do we do that? Well, there's five questions to ask um, in the rough following order. So the first question to ask is, do you want to be a big fish in a small pond or a small fish in a big pond? The student that went to Berkeley was a small fish in a very big pond. Berkeley Pond. There are thousands of pre-meds at Berkeley and it's incredibly competitive to get good grades. Maybe you're up to the competition. Maybe you are a rock star, an ace in your AP science classes, and the idea of competing with others will bring out the best in you. But maybe you're not. Maybe you need a little hand-holding. Maybe there are gaps in your knowledge and you need the adjustment period. Going to a smaller school can help you with that transition and help you get better grades. That's question number one. Question number two would be about the quality of the pre-med advising. So, uh, before you choose a college, check the pre-med advising website. Do they have something called a committee letter? That's where a group of faculty and advisors get together to write you a composite letter of recommendation, and it's a sign, not the only sign, but a sign of good pre-med advising. Also check how many dedicated pre-med advisors they have to the percentage of, let's say, biology majors, um, because the more about students there are per advisor, the less personal attention you'll get and the harder it will be to get through your classes and the application process unscathed. Question number three would be to see whether the school itself is known for grade deflation. What do I mean by that? Well, Berkeley's kind of known for grade deflation. This is not just Berkeley, a Berkeley problem, but if the school doesn't give A's easily, that's a great way to have a lower than average GPA when you apply for medical school. And you would think that med schools would account for the relative differences in GPAs, but they generally don't. So going to a school where it's impossible to get A's is like going to a school where it's really hard to get into a top med school. All right, question four would be to see what chunk of the, of the classes that you're going to have are gonna be small. Let's say 20 students or fewer in a class. The reason that's so important is getting to know your professor is crucial for letters of recommendation. And the smaller the classes, the better it's going to be for that individual attention and getting in. And then the final question would just simply be, how comfortable do you feel on campus? If it's a place where everybody seems like they could be your best friend, you're gonna be more likely to fit in and be happy and productive your entire career there. So those are the five questions that matter most, but let's talk about what doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether the college is affiliated with a medical school. Med schools don't give preference to their undergrads and the opportunities at a medical school typically are only available to medical students, not pre-meds. It doesn't matter whether the school has a pre-med major. Nobody cares what you major in when you go to medical school. So don't let that be something that distracts you when choosing a college. And the final thing that deserves mentioning is prestige matters but not as much as you think. So many students coming out of high school think that the better the college they go to name-wise, the more likely they are to get into medical school. And that simply isn't true. If you look at the incoming class at any given medical school, you're gonna see roughly 80 to 100 different undergraduate institutions and the diversity will surprise you. So in the end, you got to figure out what's important to you when picking this college. And if you answer those five questions, I hope that you will find a place where you can hit 
the, uh, the ground running at that college and do well from the start. So those are obviously my opinions, and I'd actually love to know what you think. Are you considering uh, a choice between two different colleges? What do you think matters to you when choosing the best college to be pre-med? Post a comment below and we will interact with you and respond. I'd love to hear what questions you have and what you think. All right, good luck in choosing that school.